Robin Hood. Robin Hood, guys. You know, earlier on in my life when I was um making money, I didn't know what to do. I I, I wanted to do something with my money, invest. Mm. But you don't know. You know, back in the day when there was no technology, you'd have to go to like a firm or whatever. Financial advisor. Get a financial or, advisor yeah. or whatnot. But you don't have to do that anymore, guys. Mm-mm. There's an app called Robinhood, and you can buy stocks, trades, you can do all ETFs, you can do the whole fucking thing. Mm-hmm. Crypto is all commission-free. Damn. It really is um, technology advanced to the stages of all glory. And I think it's really a great app that. because for a, uh, a newcomer like myself, it's really not intimidating. It's very straightforward. Mm-hmm. The interface is very clear. Um, George and Bryce helped me choose yeah, we which. Before we were even sponsored, we like, yeah, right. We, use it. you guys helped me choose which cryptos to yeah. buy, and I'm happy with it. Yeah, tell them about it, Gil. So Robinhood is giving Tiger Belly listeners a free stock like Apple, Ford, or Sprint to help build your portfolio. Sign up at tiger.robinhood.com. That's tiger.robinhood.com. Five. Forget it, that. <laughs> I don't know. Three. Yeah, yeah. Two. Every time. One. We got to find a different way to bring uh, start. Mm-hmm. Do it in Spanish or something. Cinco. There we go. Cuatro. Uh huh. Tres. Cinque. Dos. Cinque. Uno. All right. Y'all, 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 y'all. What's up? What's up, y'all? Yo, yo, yo. Yeah. What's up? Uh, hold, hold nah, on. nah. Hold no, on. no, no. I swear to fucking God, Eric. I <laughs> swear to fucking God. I said. Can we not start to over? <laughs> Can we start, start over, over, start over, yeah. With less urban, yeah, like yeah, whatever yeah. that was. Uh-huh, uh-huh, go ahead. Cinco, oh God, yeah. cuatro, uh-huh. tres, dos, dig in it. uno. Oh my God. Cool cat. <laughs> cool cat. Yeah, cool cat. Yo, what's up? Oh, oh shit. Oh, my God. Welcome to Tiger Belly. What's up? Is, is this a mad TV sketch? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every time you talk, dude, it fucking infuriates me. All right. <laughs> First of all, you're an hour. And a half, over. You're an hour and a half. No, late. I'm not. Thirty minutes. Okay. No. What time is it? I was right supposed now? to be here. Forty-five said, minutes. Yeah. But we. Sh- no, I've been here like ten. Yeah. Minutes. Anyway, um, welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly. Um, episode what? One. One something. 70. Seventy, 70 something. Seven. Okay. Something. Wow. One something. One seventy something. Every and one of those is a stab in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> And uh, every single time. You were stabbed 170 times in the heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like your joke. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, We've got um, everyone's in the room. Everyone we need Mm. is in the room. I desire. We got Gilbert, my beautiful um, Filipino flower, Kalila. Wow. George is back in town from uh, from the from the country. Mm -hmm. And then we've got uh, my main man, uh, my number one. Bryce, right here. What's your last name, Bryce? Halleck. What is it? Halleck. 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 I'm just gonna call you Bryce from now on. I gotta say, this is very impressive. The uh, <laughs> the, what? the the vacuum, vacuum stand. The vacuum stand. Yeah. Very. Thank you. Studio. That's what 170 it's, it's, episodes gets yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And also, we're innovative. <laughs> you know, and that's also doesn't it look cool though. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we got a we have this a guest is like today. If a housekeeper was we doing have a, a guest podcast. today that was. 40, <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> like if we have a guest tonight that um I clean forty five minutes. <laughs> Bob's gonna gouge your eyes. Out. I was I was thirty minutes late. Okay, listen, I live in Culver City. Okay, you live in in the hills in Hollywood in yeah. your in your mansion. You know, um, uh-huh. this place. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know. Uh-huh. I just found out yesterday I'm here. Like so, what guest? What guest canceled on you guys? And you guys went down to the Rolodex. It was like I guess Eric. But I bet your money if we said we had fresh cornbread, you'd be here faster. Oh, <laughs> listen to this guy. Huh? <laughs> First of all, cornbread is good, so I don't it's know what really to hate. Sweet, it's sweet, and delicious. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to hate on cornbread. Yeah. is. we have our own version, Hawaiian bread. Mm. That's not <laughs> But they're both sweet bread. bread. Delicious, though. That's very good. Kind of you ever had a burger with Hawaiian bread? Oh my bread? god! Yeah. <laughs> or hot dog? Oh, oh my god! Dog killing it all day. Doghouse. You ever go to Doghouse? No, I've never been to Doghouse. Doghouse, all their hot dogs. Is that the one on Sunset? There's mm, one. No, there's Burbank one in, right one by in Warner Brothers. Oh, wow. And at all their breads that you know Hawaiian. that come is Hawaiian bread. Just fatty bread. Yeah, mm, I love it. So we have a guest that was 30 minutes. It's fine. Um, we. Uh, his name. Yeah, he's got hairy knuckles. Um, 
I, okay, so this is how we're going to start yeah, again yeah, once yeah. again. We can't just... If you shave down a Snuffleupagus, uh. <laughs> shave it completely down, and just leave some hair on the knuckles of the Snuffa, <laughs> we got him right here. Um, this is going to be great now. now yeah, I'm we get got it. Eric... Eric Griffin. Yeah. Eric Griffin is his name. Thank you so much. Um, what you been up to, dog? You know. <laughs> so ridiculous. Yeah, this is like every time I come on here. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck because you were 30 minutes late. Ah, uh, whatever, What do you dude. think of that? Oh, huh? like you've never been late to anything? Yeah, but I would never be late to you one of your podcasts. Yeah, oh, okay, well. You have a great podcast, by the way. What's it called? It's called Riffin with, with Griffin. Griffin. And there's 400 le- listeners. Yeah, 400 <laughs> subscribers right now. We just started about a month ago. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Is time. Craig doing it with you? Takes time to build up. Is- no, because Craig's too busy editing the Worst editing and stuff. Yeah, we did a little pilot. Your brother's great on it. It was a pilot. That- yeah, we did a little pilot. Like we're gonna try to do like a slash gaming slash sketches. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's like and my Mad TV good- meets like you know. My brother's good on it. Oh, he's great. Yo, what is he playing? You're at? gonna be so jealous. <laughs> Why he's that good? Uh, he's really, Steve. I was like shocked how funny Steve is. Oh, Steve's funny. Oh, Steve's yeah. funny. He yeah, was like improvising. Yeah, my brother. Like, my brother's, my brother's yeah. funny. Steve. Yeah, he By does the way, it in an innocent way too. Yes, he comes from an angle that's different. Yes, than I was my like, angle. oh, and he, oh my god, so he has his dumb mustache he wanted to have on. Yeah, and he's also. A, <laughs> Listen, he's also a diva. He Steve oh, is a fucking worse than me. The worst worse than, than you. Me. Yeah, worse. You're than and you're the worst. I know. I am the worst. Yeah. <laughs> Steve's How like, do you get worse than the worst? D- d- it looks so bad. He was like, I have to have it. I have to have. It. We have to have the mustache. Yeah, like, he would yeah. not let the mustache go. Yeah. And it looks terrible, but that's part of the humor. But even when I was on Mad TV, right, he was a diva. Really? But in a sense that, like, huh? we were about to do it, like in front of a live audience. We rehearsed all week. Right. Live audience. This is television. <laughs> And you just look at me and go, yeah, I'm going home. <laughs> I go, why? He goes, I'm scared. I want to do it. He, oh, he was going to be on it? He was on it a bunch oh, of I times. Didn't, I didn't even know that. If you look at the, some of the sketches, I, I did a character named, character named Tank, mm-hmm. and he played my brother in it, but he, play, he, lived, like, he lived in my, the trunk of my car. <laughs> right? So I would lift open the trunk, and my brother would say things, right? A couple of takes, if you see it on YouTube, you can see me mouthing his dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> because he, I, I knew, I knew he was so nervous, and I wanted him to succeed so bad well, that I would, you mean, try to mouth it with him. He got it together. My brother's far, far more confident now. Yeah, yeah, he really is. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's so a good kid. He's, he's all you, right. You closer to my brother and or me? You think? Um, Ooh. you guys are both this weird energy for both. You know, like you think, like I don't care how close you think you are to Steve. Yeah. He's still like a scorpion, you know what I mean? Yeah. Steve's like having a pet snake. If you don't feed it, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna, it's you know what I mean. You yeah. put your hand in, it's gonna, yeah. ah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but he, he's still cool, you know. You, has you he raged out on you lately or no? He does every now and then. Rage. Wow. Yeah, he'll have a he'll, his moments. Wow. But he, I think he's more in control of it now. Yeah, good. You know what I mean? He's good. But you love my brother. Oh, I love Steve. Oh, today. Yeah, like, Even though I'm tired of going on the road and people coming up to me like, oh, I, I love you on. Uh, you know, Stevie Weeby. Like, <laughs> like, get the fuck oh, out of here. Oh, I've been on TV for 13 oh. years. <laughs> yeah. Work on it. In this, this fucking podcast, I yeah. have a one-bedroom apartment. Not even a one-bedroom. <laughs> yeah. It's not. This little shack is like... And, and no it, offense to Steve, no right? No offense all. to Steve, it, right? It's no offense yeah. to Steve at all, but it's just like, come on, man. It's so funny because you you, you do all this stuff like real like movies and you're on TV or <laughs> whatever. Time. And then yeah. I'll get like, I'll be at a coffee shop or a Boba place. And they'll go, can we take a photo with you? I'll be like, oh, yeah. And I go, what, what do you like me for? He goes, um, just kidding films. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Right? And you yeah, go, oh, or I get a lot of hot, the the pepper. Hot, hot ones. ones. Hot ones. Yeah. Oh, I came here to the show because of the hot ones. Well, it's the new. I did one five minute Dude, Video, I, yeah. can I tell you this? Well, I, I After doing, because I did Rogan's podcast, you yeah. know what I mean? And then like that weekend I was at the Irvine Improv. Yeah. It's the first time ever I got. Bonuses at the Irvine Improv. Wow! Like it's it's a crazy it's amount of business. Like I was in Canada. I was in Winnipeg. Winnipeg is like the butt the butthole of yeah, uh, there, Canada. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I had people. You saw that picture I took. Some guys came to the show with a Tiger Belly T shirt on. Yeah. You know, wants to take pictures with me. I'm like, what? What? This is. <laughs> Th- yeah. This is your big credit now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like if uh, Conan just started a podcast. Yeah. But it, it's so crazy that if Conan came up to you and was like, hey, you want to do my show? You might be like, mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, can I yeah. do a podcast? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, you know? It, you know, it's crazy. It's, you know, when Rogan, Rogan said to me, he's like, um, you know, he finally gave Tiger Belly some props. 
And he said, yeah, you're, you know, you're killing you. Because I said I was on a TV show. Mm-hmm. He goes, why are you doing that? And I go, because I don't know. You still want to be an artist. Yeah, I want to to work, you know? (laughs) He said, but you already have everything. You you have your podcast. People listen to it. Oh, he doesn't really know you then, huh? (laughs) What? No, but what I'm saying is is that... He hasn't been over. (laughs) Yeah, but I could be be in a different facility. You know, I can find a... I can find... A facility? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But this is what we because this this is what it, makes it eccentric. It. Yeah, yeah, I know. And this is what makes it um, special. Yeah, the is house. that we we get people to come into this piece of shit to do this. No, so it's only because you your house has My to be like is a it. specific like it has to be done by like a Chinese designer who was in a internment camp. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. this, there has to be. Does yeah. someone die in here? There has to be a well, ghost I mean, in the that's master a completely bedroom. Completely different thing. I want to. I want to have a house. If I'm if I'm gonna buy a fucking house, dude, right? Uh-huh. It, it's gonna be. I don't want to keep buying house. Like Delia always goes. Oh, he's just. Moved, I just he's bought a again. new house. Yeah. I got how many houses? He has three houses now. Yeah. Wow. I'm not doing. I don't have that kind of money. Yeah, I know. If I buy one, that's it. That's the root. That's why we're very being very picky. We have animals we have to think of. Mm-hmm. We've come very close, and when we get it, people are going to be amazed by it. I'm sure. You know. Don't. What if Fuck. they're not? Don't hype it up like that. Well, we haven't. What found if Eric it yet. walks in? He's like, "This is a bigger piece of shit than the last one." <laughs> well, I'm sure it's going to be a bigger piece. of shit. <laughs> Once you finish with it, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to start really nice and lovely, and then you're yeah. going to put stickers on the walls, and you know, there's going to be. Yeah, I'm going to make it my own. Four extra dogs I'm that you really need. It, yeah. <laughs> Make it my own, my friend. I know. Okay. Is Steve gonna? But live? podcast really is. Yeah, yeah, it's a new thing. Sorry. What? The podcast is a new thing. It's the yeah. new like you know. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's it's also here's another thing. People listening. Is there is a feeling of family? Those fans are different. Yeah, they are. They really are. Yeah. Are you being sarcastic? No, no, no. I agree. Yeah. And I mean, they have to be because if you're if you're listening to Stevie Weeby. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just saying, like that's such a, st- a st- specific, a specific thing. You're listening to him, and then you're going out. Not only are you listening to him, you're loyal, and then you're going. I want to go see the fans. I want to go see the people that have been on that podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like they're coming to my show. Like, oh, I came because I heard you on Stevie. Mm-hmm. Weeby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they're, 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 what's it's going weird. on with entertainment now? You know. But you know, we had to it's survive different. because of this know. new, this new age of the internet. That's Fuckers why. like this guy, you know, and you know. YouTube fucks yeah, like this guy from Maker, choice. right? <laughs> He's friends with Casim, all these guys, yeah. right? They're, we have to compete against everybody now. I know. Just and, no, we have to compete against some random like twelve year old who's like opening up toys. Yeah, you know, <laughs> on. yeah. This is like, that's entertainment. Or a guy that like he gets sho- brand new. He tries out new ten- tennis shoes. That's mm-hmm. it. And he opens up a brand new p- packs of tennis shoes. Million hits. As successful as your podcast is. Do it ever frustrate you when you go on YouTube and like a chiropractor has thirty million? <laughs> oh my! I <laughs> watch those. <laughs> you know, it's like the most. Yeah, this guy's like, hi, I'm I'm Doctor Joe. Yeah. You know? And then they, they just have somebody, you know, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, that's you know, yeah. I love extraction videos. That's my. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> that's, that's her thing. You know what? Pimples? I just got my face yeah. extracted today, and I wish that she had filmed it. Yeah, I just love. Wow. It. The bigger, I actually wanted. The bigger the pimple, in fact, the better. In fact, Eric, I think that at some point in our lives, there ought to be a place where you can pay money to extract blackheads out of somebody. I would pay money if someone just gave me a face full of blackheads <laughs> and a little extraction tool. Mm. That I would be there for five hours. That to me is my Disneyland. Yeah. yeah. Or ingrown hairs. If someone would just about, give me all their ingrown hairs, I don't even know. What, I don't care what part of the body how about it's from. Horrible earwax. Earwax. Oh, oh that's so the best. good. Especially like, when I want they put the, the, I want a camera. I want a camera to yes. go in my ear and see what's going on. Yes. Yeah. And they put the hydrogen peroxide uh, so it clumps yeah. up and then they pull it out in uh, one uh, one big blob. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It makes uh, me drool. The Woo. shit out of your body must be chunky. Really? Yeah, yeah, like your Oh, yeah, I like you like you're in shape. You, you no, I, I, I was, it wasn't a weight attack. <laughs> I wasn't attacking your weight. You oh, just you, you like weren't attacking weight. my weight, huh? That, you, you would have chunky earwax, is what I'm saying. What, why? why is, uh, you have a big head. Why is my? Does my ear look like it's any bigger than anybody else's ear? Can I just say, if you see a big, wa- uh, no, that, that a big stop. melon, uh-huh. a gigantic melon, right? Oh, oh, so we're not talking about weight. So I, you're comparing me to a big melon. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm a big melon right no, now. Okay, I, no, no, please, no. continue if your I little see, analogy. I will, I will. Go on. If I see a big melon, right, uh-huh. and I open it up, 
There's not going to be a little meat in there. There's going to be a lot of melon meat because it's a big melon. Mm. You have a very big head. You must have chunky earwax. You're going to have chunkier earwax because you're Asian. You have and dry wax. What the fuck does that mean? You, you fucking attacking no, no, my no. fucking yeah, ethnicity. Yeah. Yeah. Dry no, wax. let's say it's you're an Asian, Asian melon. It's an Asian melon. <laughs> it's going to Asian happen. people have dry wax. Non-Asian people have wet wax. Yeah, mine's very dry. So his is not going to be chunky. Go. Yours is going to be chunky. Yes. Yeah, but yours is going to be bigger, wet as You fuck. have, in, in, in proportion, you have a bigger head. Okay, your head is, a, it's, it goes out to your shoulders. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's how big your head is. It gets shoulders, head. You know what I mean? So if we weighed our heads. Yeah, you, <laughs> but proportionally to head. No, no, no not proportionally. The, no, your head's pretty head bigger than my head. head to body ratio is what you you're saying. You think that you, my head is bigger than yeah, yours. Yeah, your head is. Well, then I should just what? kill myself then. Well, I mean, you have a I lot of relapse reasons on to drugs. do that. <laughs> you think, uh, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because let me say something right oh, now. Here dude. we go, everybody. What do you mean? Can here we, we go? have a podcast where you don't insult me from beginning to end? Okay. You How look about good. for every mean thing you, you say? You look good. No, I don't believe. Nobody yeah, that's believes. That's what I meant. You nobody, look good. Nobody believes you. When you walked in, I'm like Denzel. Oh my god. <laughs> Is Denzel here? Oh, uh, you. Uh, oh, can you admit this? No. Yeah, I'm not yeah. Admit admit look at me right now, man. Look at me right now. I'm not gonna admit anything. Le- le- listen, okay. I, and I'm going to say something so real, it's going to boggle your fucking mind. Real, he says. Yeah, I'm going, well, li- wait, wait till I say it, okay? Okay. Look at me. I fucking love you so fucking much. Okay. I really do. Like. But? No, there's no but. There's no but. <laughs> okay. I love you so much. Mm-hmm. I Not only do I think that you're super talented, and I when I hang out with you, I go, oh, I'm with a real legit comedy entity here. With real skills. Oh wow! Right? This, this, can, Not, can we record yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not, we are recording. Sorry, yeah. This is gonna be my Not new. This could be my I new would ring also, <laughs> I would trust you. I would trust you with my fucking life. Okay, good. And I would never say that about really any other comedian. Like if I was in a situation with Dalia and I needed his real help, I think he would bail. Well, he'd be on the phone. Right? Yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> But with you, dude, I love you. I think you're so talented, and oh, I, I trust you. With this. I don't. I feel you're uncomfortable. You're one of the ugliest now. people. I'm very vulnerable. You're one of the ugliest people I've ever seen. See, in my here life. we go. Here we go, everybody. There that's it is. All I want, that's all I wanted to get to. Right? Is, is that? Can you? Can you? That make you? A judgment your here. face <laughs> is like an African who's Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> What does that even mean? What I mean is, Mr. Potato Head has the same complexion as me. So why is it African? <laughs> Please explain That's true. that. My bad. My yeah. bad. That's just you being a racist. I'm a little racist. <laughs> I took it to a racist part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, You're the right. actual size of a Mr. Potato Head. That's what you are. Uh, uh, all right. Okay. All right. <laughs> so let's just get that. So those are facts. I'm saying. Uh, oh, those are facts. Wow. This is like with friends like this. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I just mean? gave you the. That's why you guys should no, 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 you name your podcast. You can't open with a, a a compliment and then take it all away with. The, I didn't take it away. I'm just telling you. you took it away. The whole thing. Right. Oh, he took it away. Sweetie, I had a. So if you guys ever do a podcast together, well, we'd you have should, to kill you first. No, no, no. You <laughs> you you would name it Spuds. Ah, uh, uh, Spuds. Two potato. Potato body, potato head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You have a potato body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys should do it. Your, people see the head first, though. No, but you're like a jack o' lantern. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. <laughs> all right. Like a Halloween a, now, a, I a Asian you, jack o' lantern. You know I what gave I mean? you all. I, I gave you compliments galore. Mm-hmm. Tell me how you feel about me. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm, I'm allowing. It I'm always allowing comes you. at a price. You know, it's you know what you're frustrating is what you're a frustrating friend. You don't call back. You don't answer mm-hmm. your phone. Mm-hmm. You don't text back. Mm-hmm. You, you, you know, it's very annoying when we. I feel like I'm close to you. I try to be close to you, and you don't reciprocate until we're like on a podcast. <laughs> That's How, the compliments. Yo, this this is, <laughs> is that a compliment? No, this is me being your real friend. Okay, okay. we're gonna well, give me the good your, stuff. Give me the good stuff. <laughs> Um, you go to you see the good stuff first, and then you get, you slam me with the no bad no you stuff. slam with the bad stuff first. And oh, then so you, that's um, the bad stuff. The good, no, no, the, I how much time we got? <laughs> <laughs> no, Bobby, you know, I, you know uh, I love you. Come on, yeah, I mean, come I on. I love when you get vulnerable. Yeah, yeah I mean, this guy is the worst. I, I I'm the I'm the one of the few comics that still watch your set. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you are right. <laughs> and I try oh, really? to give you people notes. leave. Yeah. Oh. When I go up on stage, people leave. <laughs> Even industry. <laughs> No, I'm being real. Like, I'll, oh. they'll go. No, I'm being real. They'll go. Yes, so and so is from here. You know, from this network. They're seeing the guy before you, and I'm like, I can't wait to perform. <laughs> and then when I'm off the stage, they're gone completely. The whole section's gone. <laughs> yeah. They have to watch after. It's better to go on after somebody that the industry is watching. So maybe they'll catch. They're in a mood to laugh. 
Right. And then they'll be like, oh, well, make sure. We, we got an ad. What is it? Should we wait and see? Rich Wallet. Rich wallet. Oh, Rich Wallet. Do you have a Rich Wallet? Oh, God, here we go. You're going to Do you have a Rich rub Wallet? ads in my face Do you have a Rich now? Wallet? No, we'd like to well, give you one. You we'd love to give you oh. one. Oh, it's for you. Oh, I have a Ridge Wallet now. They're the best. Well, let them pick what it's, color. It's just like, oh. what is this for? Oh, to pick locks yeah, yeah. to put money in your wallet? No, no, no. Give, give, give them a selection of uh, options, slave Gil. options. Would you oh. like yeah. Them? Look at these. Uh, th- this is the only wallet we use. Here. We? Yeah. The whole podcast. So we have this color, black. Yeah, like this is the one I have. I like black. We have this this color here. Oh, this here already like has this one. Yeah, that's like that. We have this color. And you have the choice of the like the clip one. or right. the band. Yeah. Is that a clip or a band? Oh. This is on the back, I think, it should say. Does it? What does it do? Tell me more about Ridge Wallet. It's got um, <laughs> platinum. Um, it's got IDF. What's it called? RFID protection. RFID protect- protection, which means that um, people can't scan your credit card through the metal. Let Slim us- front pocket wallet offered in carbon fiber, <laughs> titanium, and aluminum. Yeah. RFID protection. Lifetime guarantee. Free shipping worldwide. 500,000 sold, 25K, five-star reviews. Yeah. Go to RidgeWallet.com wow. and use promo code mm-hmm. BELLY yeah. for 10% off yeah. with Ridge Wallet. It's really is. Um, we've been turning people onto it, and it's a really good wallet. You can have one on the All house. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open it. it later. Open it later. I'll open it later. Okay. Put, I'll put my phone on it. So put I your phone. Yeah, it. put your phone. What, what, do you, what kind of wallet do you use now? Just a regular old leather wallet. You like mm. it? Old school like that? No, you know what? I, I, I stopped. I used to think you had to carry every credit card in your wallet. So then my wallet was like two inches thick, right? You know, and then I thought, no, if you lose this, then you got to call every single credit card company. So now, <laughs> you, know, you do like it's I've so done true. that. I've lost my wallet God. where it was like I had to call the automobile club. I had to call, <laughs> yeah, I had yeah. to call Smart and Final. I had to call, you know yes, what I mean? And yeah. I was like, Fuck. this is ridiculous. You don't even know all the things you have in your wallet. So now I just carry one credit card, my mm. ID, and then now you don't even need that stuff. Really, with your phone, you know, you can like. Pay you can go to the ATM with your phone. Right. So that so now I, I need to slim it down. So I like this. This is gonna this is gonna be perfect. I for finally me. got you a triple A membership. Thank you. So what you is don't that? have to leave your car in the middle of the of the freeway like you usually do. Oh yeah, do. yeah. Well my car breaks and I'll just leave it there. And what? he buys a new one the oh, next day. Yeah, 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 and it's still there. It's like yeah. <laughs> No, I did that one time, babe. I did that you, one well, time you threatened to do ago. it a second time on my birthday two years ago, and you're just let's just leave it here. I'm oh like, yeah, oh yeah. I yeah. have triple A. <laughs> you're still not going to call triple A. Yeah, no, I will because I. Do you, you know, know you can go to triple A like instead of going to the DMV for a lot of stuff? Yeah, really? Like, get your yeah. like registration, yeah, tag everything. It's like nobody, nobody's in there. They're in there like, come on, we offer so no much lines. stuff. No lines, no yeah. lines. I didn't know that. Re- really? Yeah, mm-hmm. the, yeah. Triple A. It's like so registration, but not licensed stuff. No, you'd be surprised. You could do a Maybe. lot of yeah. You could do a so. lot of. There's a lot of little things you could do in there that I didn't even realize you can do because I hate going to the DMV. I know. Yeah, that shit is so fucking. What about annoying. the Social Security? I I always drive by that in Burbank. What does that do? Social. I don't know what they do in the Social Security. Yeah, in the building. Yeah, there's a Social Security building. I see people walk in and out of there. Well, that's like the federal building, right? Don't they yeah, do all the is. federal building shit in there? Like you could do. You can get your passport. You can get like all that oh. stuff, which you can also do at AAA. No. Yeah, you can get your passport and all that shit done at AAA. No, you can't. Yes, you can. Why there? I don't know. There's actually a lot of agencies. There's a I, lot of places you can get your passport. I have no made. idea why it's so great at the AAA. Look that shit up. Mm. I don't know. You can Are also you? do it at the post office. Oh, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, but nobody wants to go to the post office. That's either. true. You yeah, don't yeah. go to the post office, you go to the DMV. I went to the DMV one time, and like I saw the dude from Game of Thrones. Which yeah. one? Which one? <laughs> uh, the guy that got his dick cut off. Um, oh, the eunuch. Yeah. Uh, you saw him there? Yeah, I saw him. And I, and Theon they, Greyjoy. Greyjoy. And he was just standing there. You know, really, like just in line, and I was I was geeking out, you know, because yeah. I was like, ah, and I, this girl's next to me, and I go, hey, <laughs> <laughs> sir, get your hand off me. Yeah, no, yeah, but yeah. she, no, because I could tell she knew who the fuck it was too. Yeah, and I was like, look, it's great joy. Yeah, she was like, I know, and you're Montez from Workaholics. <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, oh. She wasn't as excited about that. No, it wasn't as excited. <laughs> wow, you want to just take everything away, huh? No, but she was probably like, oh, and you're Montez from Workaholic. No, it wasn't like that. Oh. It wasn't like, oh, you're the Asian guy from that ABC show. Because <laughs> <laughs> nobody knows the character's name, I'm sure. <laughs> you son of, it's going to get canceled. You son no, of it's not going to. Come on. It's not it's doing not. well. Nothing's doing well. What's doing well? That is true. Nothing's doing well. I mean, that is true. I think it just depends on they what like. What shows it or not. are you watching right now? I like uh, okay network shows. I like How to Get Away with Murder. That's I my, love that's my jam. How to Get Away with Murder. And then um, my guilty pleasures are like they all got canceled though. Vampire Diaries and Originals, but now they got a spinoff of that called Legacies, mm-hmm. which is the kids of the vampires. <laughs> 
I love vampire shit. CW, I read all the books. Yeah. Have any of you guys seen The Bodyguard on Netflix? No. I don't it's the guy from, it's Rob Stark from the Game of Thrones. Uh, and he plays a very distressed. It. It's so good. It's only six episodes. It's so good. Did you see the the House of Cards finale season? I heard my I heard it was really good. Oh, it wasn't. Really? You, you need you need Kevin Spacey. I'm sorry. Like they really? should have just canceled it. They should have been like, well, we're gonna we can't go on with this because it's like his absence is so mm. clearly like how they're trying to like scoot around it. I would have been happier if Robin Wright would have just looked at the camera and did that thing that they do. Yeah, he's a pervert, so we cut him off the <laughs> show. That's why he's no longer here. And then we would have been like, oh, that's cool. Like break the yeah. fourth wall. But I don't know. And then they ended it weird. I didn't. I didn't watch it. My sister kind of liked it, though. Do you think like Kevin it. Spacey is ever going to work again? Yes, you do. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Do if Marion Barry can come back from crack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll come. I, I think he's out forever. No, I think he'll like. He'll what be. producer is going to use him? him? Well, well, he produces everything he does anyway. Right. His his company. What's that? Uh, what's the name of his company? But like any movie you've seen that he's in it in the last like ten years, like the Cats one. Like yeah, the, if he has any kind, if he has a significant role in a movie, yeah, oftentimes he produced it, and he's gonna produce stuff still. People, he just has, he'll just make a, a another alias or something like that, another company, and then you won't even know it's a Kevin Spacey movie. Right, right, right. But he just won't be in it. He'll he just may, produce maybe, it, or maybe not, or maybe he'll just be. He should be a villain in a movie, like just like a yeah, like the just he should play himself. Yeah, I still think things out. Before. Maybe the, the, the shit that he's done. I know, but we have a. We have very slow, uh, bad memories. People have bad memories. That's true. Yeah. People, really, it's so short. Very, very short. Yeah, people are short. ADD. It's, 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 it's interesting because it's like... Um, Louis coming back, you know? Yeah. There's, there's people but back. he did play The Cellar maybe six months ago, and he got a lot... The club got a lot of shit. He yeah, got a lot but that's of shit. Because, that's because he, uh, they surprised people. Like, you can't just... like if You, it's a, you have to be on a lineup. Like if they would have given people a week, Louis coming, he's the special guest Louis. Then if people that wanted to go see him would have shown up, people that didn't want to see him didn't show mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. If they would have dealt with the bad press yeah. ahead of time, yeah. and then he just showed up like as if everything was okay. He let should me, just do his own shows. Let me ask you a different question. Mm-hmm. If I, because we, you know, we're kind of close, right? Mm-hmm. If I was accused of kind of close, kind of close, we're close, right? <laughs> if Wrong I was way. accused of, uh, if I was accused of something, doing something like that, mm-hmm. right? Being like. You know, a, a rapist or whatever. Rightly or wrongly accused. What, what, Does it what, matter it, in our society right now? No, I mean, Whoa, like, as a friend. Relax. As a friend, wouldn't that matter? <laughs> You're saying, I know your tone, but let's <laughs> relax. I'm just, just saying. I just relax, okay? <laughs> relax. Everything's fine, okay? But if I was accused, not that we don't know, uh-huh, right? Uh-huh. Would you still be my friend? Yeah. Wow. Because, yeah, yeah, I would still be your friend. I think if something... How about you, Gilbert? Would you still be my friend? Yeah. I mean, the podcast would end, you know? <laughs> what, would you, what are you accused of? Um, flashing myself in front of dudes. Oh well, that's already happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's pick something more realistic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like that's why I'm saying. Like I so did that yesterday to George. If I heard, if I heard that, that something inappropriate, I would be like, uh, somebody probably misunderstood him. That's the first thing. Yeah, I Yeah, but think. he does it in such a non. He's a nudist. No, is it what does, it is. It doesn't matter though. People. He just doesn't like to have clothes. Like on. yesterday, I to... pull, is that the pen that I put my penis yeah. on? He hasn't washed it. Have you washed it? No. So that pen, Loyalty, sir. Loyalty. I, 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 I put my genitals on that pen, and he's still using it. I saw him just a second ago. He had it in his mouth. <laughs> uh, deep throating it over you just, and over. You just yeah. do that with your pen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm never yeah, going to touch a yeah. pen again. Um, Ask no, me this, no, no, no. I Bobby. would do the same for you, I think. Yeah, but I, wow, this this like I think. we're sort of close, <laughs> I, I think. think. <laughs> Jesus. No, I, it, it would like what we're missing in society is nuance, you know, about mm. things. So you need to hear the story. I mean, if we've learned anything from what's happened in the past six months is you can't just be like, we're on board with whatever somebody Everything says 100%. is true. It's like it's not. And we've come yeah. to realize that it's not true. I, I mean, look at the Kavanaugh thing. Two of those women have come out and like, yeah, I was lying because I didn't want him to get elected, to get get to the Supreme Court. So, oh, what happened to believe the accuser? You know, that all that movement is gone. Nobody's even saying it anymore. Mm. It's gone. It's gone, gone, gone. Because they know now you go, oh, we can't just say shit like that. Mm. We have to, like, have some proof. Yeah. Some due process is all I'm saying. So I would want the due process for you. If something happened, I would want, let me hear the story. Where were you? I would need to hear everything. Because I, I know, because this is how I feel about you. I know I would hear within the story the misunderstanding. Yeah. Because I know somebody that you know, we all know, that's heavily accused of, you know, that type of behavior. Mm-hmm. But this person, I don't want to say his name, no. came up to me and he said, hey man, I, I, you know me. 
You know, I, I, I didn't do anything. The perf- that's always the line they give. You know me. You know me. I didn't do anything. <laughs> this is what I was telling I you. I go, but 50 women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, it's out there. Yeah. And not only that, when we were in Brea. Yes, Brea, two women. The two women who didn't know each other, who just happened to be friends In of my ours. green room, I brought his name up, and they all went, oh, I have a story. Oh, God. Right? And I'm like, what? what? I know. Right? And then you think, you're, and then, but if I see him, which I will, I'll probably go, what's up? Yeah, but, but Bobby, you would do that anyway, not knowing anybody's past. This is what I was telling. Remember, we talked about this on the podcast before. We're not really friends with these people. You know people. Right. That's true. You know them. We see, just That's because you true. see somebody like, you know, four hours and the way we joke and the way we're so open and like, you know, vulnerable and the way we like talk shit to each other. Yeah, there are certain in the community that think that, oh, we're really close. But I told you when weddings come out, when allegations come out, <laughs> when people have babies, who's that's when gonna you, be left? Who's gonna be left? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. it's like that person is somebody you just know, maybe you respect. And also don't fool respect respect for somebody does professionally with being close or trusting their character. It's yeah. not the same thing. It's not. You know? It's that they did a um uh there's a st- st- statistic, right, where I guess they did a poll on like a level of happiness. So people that won the lottery is less happy than people who were in massive accidents and you know where they were paralyzed mm-hmm. from the neck down. Mm-hmm. People that are paralyzed from neck down from an accident is far more happy than people that won the lottery. Yeah, I need more because, data. No, but I'll tell you why. <laughs> One of them is because of the fact that you know who your real friends are. You know, like when you win the lottery, people come out of the woodwork. Yeah. Right to ask for money and to, want to be your friend, but when you're in a a a, a, a an accident where your your spine is fractured. Yeah, your real loved ones come and feed you orange juice and yeah. help you go to the hospital and all that stuff. So in many ways, um, yeah, but if you won the lottery, what do you mean? See, it's I, to me, it still depends on the person because I know that if you won the lottery, nothing would change. That's so rude. Did the person no, no. who won one point five billion dollars come forward yet? No, why would you come forward? I would never. No, because come they forward. lose every day that they don't come forward. They no, lose no, no, like ninety thousand dollars. Not in that state. Oh, North Carolina. No, North was Carolina. It? You don't have to say. Damn. Or in California, you have to say. Oh shit. You know? Yeah. Um. So what you're saying is, is that if I won mm-hmm. the lottery, that I would still live here, and um, I would still behave in the way I would. Yeah, you, you probably would. Yeah, you'd yeah, behave the so. same. There's nothing that would change. Yeah. You would just spend more money on like Candy Crush and SimCity and that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like a platinum city. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'd no. like develop my own game. <laughs> right, exactly. Right? That's, where the, that's where you'd I go to the next I would charge myself level. for the upgrade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah that, that, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I just, I think it depends on the people. If you take somebody who's never struggled you take somebody who like, and then they get all this money. They don't know what to do with it. But if you've struggled and you've gone through some things, and mm-hmm. then somebody gives you all this money, you have a different perspective on life. And I think that that person might be able to handle the lottery differently. Like yeah. If I want a billion, because mm-hmm. by the way, that one point five, yeah, the the, the take home was a billion. If you got Shit. the, yeah, it was a billion to take home. I Ooh, mean, God. can you imagine they writing you a check? For, so they're gonna write you a check for like six hundred fifty million dollars. That's My what you're God. gonna get. You going down to Bank of America and just putting in, you know. That's like that's after taxes. That's after taxes. Oh I'm saying. my god! Yeah, after taxes Imagine. is something like six hundred, six hundred fifty billion a million dollars. I mean, I get out of here. You, all I would of you, be all terrified. of you get terrified. Ho- I would be so terrified. Yeah. I probably wouldn't leave my room for a month, and I don't blame that oh, person for I'm, not coming I'm, forward. I'm collect calling everybody. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Collect call. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm never gonna see you again. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of here. I would certain friends, and that's it. Yeah, I think I would turn evil. Really? You would turn evil. I think. Well, you find things about people when they get money or when they're drunk. That's their true mm-hmm. personality. Mm-hmm. Bobby, whatever. You're not. You're going to be the same weirdo you always are. I'm not that. You have a lot of money now. I think you're. We too have the lazy same accountant. I know you have a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Call him up and ask for Bobby's. Bobby's like. He <laughs> it's just... funny because when I was um, I was sitting around with the people on my show and because we think a lot of other people think it's not going to continue. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! And, that, how's uh, that feel, by the way? Can we come back feel, to that? I feel okay. Right. And um, and we all said we'll never see each other again, which is true. Oh, you all agreed to that, yeah. Oh, wow. and I get so we all said our kind of. I just looked at them. I go, hey, it was really good working with you, man. Oh, I know you're a good what guy you're because I've been in things where you're even the guys at Mad TV. Who do I hang out with? Yeah, 
I you know I know Jordan loves me. Does I know he? that Ike Barinholtz <laughs> loves me. You know what I mean? But I just haven't seen them. Yeah. Mm. In a, years. Dude, I'm with you. I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah. You know, but for me though, like at least with the workaholics guys, I still see them. I talk to them. I go to yeah. the games with Adam. So I feel like oh, I made real friends with these people. Yeah. But like I'm dying up here. You know, only the comics. I see Andrew Santino at. Right. You know, that's only because, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the first time him and I ever, like, sort of bonded was because of the show. But other than that, like, I'm not seeing these people ever again, you know? You know what was sad? You know who? It's uh, like camp. It's like summer camp. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We could be best friends forever, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and then you never see him again. You know Charlie, um, what's that? Charlie Hill? Mm-hmm. The Indian comic? Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. there was an American Indian comic by the name I of Charlie Hill, right? And he was big in the 80s. Well, he did like, you know, the Tonight Show, or whatever, mm-hmm. in the eighties, and then he just kind of fell off the mat. He started with a guy named Mike Binder. You know Mike Binder? Mm-hmm. He hangs out at the here. comedy store a lot. And Mike Binder is a producer now, and whatnot. And they hadn't seen each other in many, 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 many years. And Mike Binder told me this when Charlie Hill was in the hospital dying, mm-hmm. he knew he had not that much time, days left, right? He called Mike Binder, and they hadn't seen each other in years. And then they talked about the old days. Charlie wanted to just reach out and and you know reminisce about the glory days. Aww. You know, and it really I almost cried when Who's and, your five called? Who's your five people you would call? You're dying. You have three hours to live. In comics? Just, for the glory days? Just like I'm just saying no no. Just if you in have, general, it would in be general, like you, if you have to make how many calls you think you're gonna you be would, able to make. You wouldn't have to call me and by your side. Yeah, oh, yeah she's you. there. Okay, so, good. You know, so um <laughs> You know what I mean? This is going to be so sad. You know, but okay, she's there. Steve's probably just left. You know what I mean? <laughs> Where's Steve, the bathroom, Steve, Yeah, huh? Steve's down. Yeah, Steve uh, went to the cafeteria, but he's in the hospital. Yeah. So you don't got to call Steve. I, well, I've always thought about doing this is writing everyone I know a letter. Mm. So I would have a stack of letters. To saying, yeah, you but know, you can do the letters in your off time. You this right. you, you've but already if Bobby, I have five Bobby, calls, you've already right, sent the letters. You got right, three so hours left. Three hours. Left, Who five the calls, calls you gonna make? What's the five calls you gonna make? I would call um, Dan Irwin. Fuck you. Okay, that's off the top. Why? Because you haven't said me yet. So go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, five, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's five, okay. Four, four left. But I, went, <laughs> I, I, I just want to talk about who he is. Okay, go ahead. Dan Irwin was when I was a kid. Um, I went to a rehab. And Dan Irwin was this older Korean man who showed up in the lobby. He had like long white hair. He had tattoos. He was Korean Santa? Yeah. You know, he looked like uh, from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> oh, like Shang Tsung? Yeah, yeah. He was standing there with oh. his tattoos, slim, He was definitely old. a kung fu teacher. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he came up to me and goes, you know, I'm going to be your sponsor. Mm. And Because I had complained that to one of the counselors that there are no Koreans in AA. That were, you know, and they, so they called Dan. And Dan, when I was in high school, was my sponsor. Oh, wow. shit. And he, he I, I mean, I think about him all the time. He saved my life. Mm-hmm. He taught, he okay. told me, you know, so I'm that's okay the one guy. okay with him being number one. Okay, thank, <laughs> thank you. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, the second, okay the guy that saved your life. <laughs> the second one would probably be the kid from high school that just told us not to talk about him anymore on the on the podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I, I don't did. want to say his, no, I didn't say his name, <laughs> right? Yeah, but Everybody knows that this is the podcast. Doesn't matter. He's he's not going to get mad. Okay. But there's this guy that I was very close to okay. in high school and in, in my early twenties, and he lives in L.A. and he's just one of those guys I just never call back. Wait, hold on. You were in high school when you in your early twenties. How dumb are you? <laughs> no, no, no. no. It, How many and, times did you I get? said and my oh, early twenties. Oh, okay. Fucker. I, thought, I was like, God damn. He, so this kid, disgraced age. You know, I, he was a <laughs> close friend of mine, and I just you know I haven't kept up with him in L.A. Uh, but I love him dearly. Mm-hmm. And I would probably apologize oh, to this God. guy. Mm. My third one would be you. He Aww. reluctantly says that. <laughs> First got, of all, you yeah. don't have to say me. You know why? I would you go, know, what's hey, up, hey, Cheeks? Hey, hey, you don't have to say me. You know why? Why? I'd be at the hospital with her. Well, then there That's you right. go. Damn. Yeah, motherfucker. Would you would be there? Yes, I would be there. You don't think I would be there? I believe you'd be there. I think I, you would. I think that he would wait, sleep wait, wait. at the hospital, Hold too. on. Any, I always know. We're so close, he don't want to admit it. But I know when something's wrong with you. When you're at the store and something happens in the day, right. who comes up to you like, what the fuck's wrong? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you, you go, too. you pull me aside. Oh, this is what happened, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah. So you don't got to say me. You're I'm also the only hospital. comedian, if I'm at the store, that says, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm being real. No one else By the way, cares how I am. <laughs> Do you notice at the comedy store that it's not a place people grow anymore? It seems like it's a place people climb. 
Mm. It's the worst. You know, it's like a lot of like clicky, cl- like climbing going on. Everybody's yeah. trying to get in. That's that. why I haven't been calling in. Uh, it's just mm. crazy, man. It's a crazy yeah. thing going on over like, there. Right I didn't now. even call in for tonight. I have no reason not to. I just like I don't want to go. Oh wow. Yeah. It's unusual. Because the thing I haven't called in the last couple of weeks. I mean, I've been busy, but like I've done two shows there yeah. in like three weeks. Mm. I just I just don't like I just sometimes I feel like an outcast now. I feel like an outsider. Yeah. Like I go there and I feel like, you know, I just feel like it's like these clicks of like it's like the the people who have become like really famous and so they're mm-hmm. over here. And then you have the people that are like, you know, under Joe Rogan's umbrella, the podcast guys who are just mm-hmm. like bro, 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 and they don't you know, they they're over yeah. there doing their thing. Yeah. And then there's like the open micer type guys and the guys that just got past who are trying to fight and come up. And then I I just don't know where I fit in. And then you I don't the, feel welcome. The delusional. Oh, well that's the that's the whole fucking the place. Fucking yeah. delusional. Yeah, yeah. It's just the There's just one girl, I'm not gonna say her name, and don't say her name because I know you mm-hmm. who thinks she is the top. And oh, she's not. Oh god. She's not. not. Same girl. God, okay. I want to say. <laughs> well, don't say. Oh, because there's one yeah. girl. I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. When she's on stage, yeah, I know. she, she thinks... starts saying things, and I'm like, ah, I, 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 what are you saying? Yeah, or <laughs> she treats me like I'm underneath her, so that, right? And that, I want to pull her aside. You got to stop talking go, about this. Stop talking about this. Because you and I are going to keep going, and then we're going to be We're not like, going to say her name. We, if we keep going, we are. No, so, we're not. No, we're not. Okay, I, so I just want to say one last thing. Okay, go. All right? <laughs> you know, I'm trying to I protect you. Her, I want to pull her aside and go, How many go, times have you Hi. talked about shit you said on here, and I go, Bobby, yeah. go home and erase that. You yeah, can't say I, that. Well, I want to pull her aside and go, hi. Yeah, yeah. Remember? Look at my IMDb, <laughs> compare it to yours. <laughs> the end. Bitch. Is it her energy? What is... She just... You can tell it's in her head. A lot of times when people... Wow, well, see? That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 don't. We, let's, that's not, let's, let's stop. Not, let's, let's stop. stop. Let's stop. Yeah. We have another ad. Yes, we do. And we have a sponsor, Brooklinen. Brooklinen. Heaven. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Heaven, yeah. Brooklyn, yeah, Brooklyn Heaven, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Brooklyn and is um, the go to sheets for 2018, 19, 20, and, and for the future. For All lovers, the years. Friends. For lovers, friends. It really is the best sheets, the only sheets that we use in this mm-hmm. ho- sure. household. And um, the Slep King, me, your captain, um, only wants to sleep on high quality materials. Mm-hmm. And that's what Brooklyn and, um, is made to do. And it provides you with luxurious comfort in wow. your own bed. Tell them about it. Our Brooklyn sheets are the best, most comfortable sheets they've ever slept on. Now it's your time to upgrade. Brooklyn.com is giving an exclusive offer just for Tiger Belly listeners. Get $20 off and free shipping when you use the promo code TigerBelly at Brooklyn.com. Brooklyn is so confident in their product that all their sheets, comforters, towels, come with a lifetime warranty. The only way to get $20 off and free shipping is to use the promo code TIGERBELLY at brooklinen.com. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Promo code TIGERBELLY. Brooklinen. The these all, are the, the best, best sheets, sheets, sheets ever. 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 Now back to the show. Well, that's great. Well, we love those we sheets. We love those sheets. They're so soft. Those are amazing sheets. Um... <laughs> You corporate hack yeah. over here. <laughs> and then the only time he comes in is to be like a Mr. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Ad guy. Oh, those sheets. Are so, oh, how yeah, soft yeah. are those sheets, right, guys? Yeah, yeah. Man. Right, George. George, those sheets. You want to get in on these sheets? <laughs> Ow, you are, get you him another water. Me get with him water? Another water. All right. All right. So you don't got to say me. I'm at okay, the hospital. Right, so, right. so you still got five. You oh, so got five, three, you have three more. You have three more. Yeah, three more. I have Abby, three Abby. more. Oh yeah, my. Well, Abby is there too. Then. Yeah. There's people thinking, that yeah. you have to think. Of, you have to, that's what we should name first. Who's already going to be there? Oh yeah, that's true. And right, then it's like, because here's the people a, I need to call. Because the room's not that big. It's not that big, mm-hmm. right? So, uh, well, so here's got good insurance. Here's who would be. <laughs> if my parents are still alive, it'd be them. Yeah. Uh, my brother Steve, mm-hmm. Kalila, mm-hmm. Uh, you. Mm-hmm. It have to be Abby and Matt. You Matt would be there. Matt Blake. Yeah. yeah Matt Abby Leviton, my manager. Dude. I love they Matt, would be by there. The way. That's seven, <laughs> right? Yeah. And then, um, that's it. Yeah. 
I guarantee we'll be in the lobby for sure. Yeah. No, you're not going to be there. We'll be yeah, lo- yeah, the gonna, lobby. Where are these guys are there? Yeah, because we're doing the podcast. Oh, you guys are in the lobby. Oh, you guys are the podcast. We're recording. Oh, we're broadcasting. Yeah, yeah, we're broadcasting. George is holding up ads for you while you're dying. Bobby, yeah, yeah. Bobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brooklyn and Sheets, they're so soft. All you hear is do do You know what I would love to do is do the podcast while I'm dying. That's what I'm saying. Right? So then, you, totally you know, we're that. talking, that's right? And all of a sudden, Yeah. And that's the end of Tiger Belly. Yeah. All, and then you don't even say No, 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 no. I would totally take over. It would be like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. If we do the podcast and you hear the beep, don't let them talk. <laughs> I don't want to have the last word, right? Look at me right now, George, right? Don't let them talk and just end it. Yeah. Just turn it off so the last thing people oh, hear it. The Sopranos? This is the Tiger Belly Sopranos ending? <laughs> oh, is that what happens? Yeah. It goes oh. black. It just goes that's black it. and that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I want. The Sopranos God. ending. Then all of a sudden you do, uh, like you hear like one of those like lamps. Ching, you know, yeah. and then it's just me. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Tiger Belly. Welcome to Tiger Belly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kalala. She's all tied up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Change the name like to Tiger Belly Plus or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tiger yeah. Plus size or Tiger, Tiger Belly Plus size. size. <laughs> He found a way. Found you see a how way. we found a way found to a way. bring it full circle to call me fat again? Yeah, oh, yeah. my God. All right. But people who would call, let, let's listen to a couple more. Uh, mm-hmm. I would probably call, um, oh, I know who I would call. Mencia. Mm. Whoa. What's that conversation? Wow. What's that conversation? Yeah, what's that conversation? Yo, Ned. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm, t- I'm dying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yo, Ned. It's Bobby. This is your dying voice? Yeah. This is why your show's getting canceled. But go on. <laughs> oh, I'm not, it's this not believable. This is great acting. Yeah. It's not believable. Yeah. Let me do try it again. No, you're doing a great job. No, on no, no let show. me try it again. Oh, you are. So don't don't think it. You need to stop being so hard on yourself too. By the way. Oh God. It's me, Bobby. So, bro. Right. Okay. I'm dying. <laughs> why, are you girl? Yeah. No, I'm dying. Oh. I dying. Is this? Is I heard about is that, this bro? an anime scene we're doing? Yeah, right yeah. Now, I heard about it, bro. What, what, how much time do you have? I don't know. Any second. <laughs> and I would say, thank you mm. for all your help. Boom. And I'd hang up the phone. There you go. So Ned there, and then um, would probably you... Polly. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask. Polly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, What's bro. Up, buddy? <laughs> yeah, What's up, <laughs> buddy? Chinese, baby. Chinese, baby. He'd put you on hold. <laughs> Right, you put me on all. And then there's like, and whole, when he comes you back, you die during the whole music. Yeah, when he comes back, I wanna be yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the and the How about you? Who'd be there? Who would you call the last five? Who would I call? That's a. This is a morbid fucking. Podcast. I know. I'm just trying to think who I would call. Is there, I'm trying to think if there's anybody in comedy I would call. Comedy. You know, yeah. you know I don't know. I think I'd call. You know, who you'd have to call. Who would I have to call? Ahmed Ahmed. I was just thinking that I probably would, you would call have him. to call Ahmed. Even Ahmed. though I, I, I'm, I'm probably that would be the only reason to ever talk to him again would be I'm on my deathbed. But I would call him and be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I had, you know, it was, I had some significant times in my life where. I, coming up in comedy where he was around, you know? Yeah. Like the first time I ever started doing comedy and, I, and he had that show at Q's Billiard. Yeah. You he know, did I'm, help you a lot. Yeah. And then like, so that time and then like going to the Middle East and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And just like... And it, he's the reason why you and I are close. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, we, yes. I didn't know him until... I mean, I knew of him, yeah. but I didn't really know him until... Eric and I and Sebastian Monoscalco but you don't let anybody know you so went to the tough. Middle East that was no the, because that's tough, how you're a tough nut to crack yeah but that, that's how Sebastian and I went to his wedding that's yeah, how yeah. It's Sebastian and I are close yeah. you know what I mean him and I are close because I didn't go to his wedding <laughs> he loves you though <laughs> yeah whatever yeah yeah but that's why and then what you did that gesture you did on the plane yeah I get you so I, I would he would be number five probably you know the yeah to call comics, I, don't be, know. I would have, I want to hear that conversation no you know you know what I'm sure it would be fine because oh, when you're around you're death I'm just saying when you're around death you ever like I had I, my great aunt died yeah she they brought her from the uh, Central America from Belize you know and she was in a deathbed and she and, and she called for my mom and me and it, they, they, they my family's like not close. There's just been a lot of issues and problems, and I was glad that I got to, on her final hour, she's telling me, like, her regrets and being like, I'm sorry that this happened, and, you know, please, let you know, trying to tell me to keep the family together and that kind of thing. So I was like, wow, this is a powerful moment in your death. You have this clarity, you know? Mm-hmm. So I just think that if you're about to die, what's the point of holding on to grudges or anything like that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, there's nothing. There's no point. I don't need to, unless you're just a dickhead like Tupac, you know what I mean? Where you're not gonna tell, you know, you know the story on, on when he shot, he's about to die, and the cops said, "Who did this?" And his last words were, "Fuck you." 
but then he just died. Wow. You don't want to be that. You know what I mean? Yeah, but he didn't rat anybody out. Right, he didn't rat anybody out. That's but at honor. that point, I'm That's ratting. Honor. I'm telling everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His no, so address, he, he lives on this. this. I know. <laughs> yeah. Look at my wallet. I have his. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, there's not really not that few people I would even uh, consider calling, man. I don't, I don't know because it's, it's just, I'm trying to think of some people from high school, my buddy yeah, James, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just like I'm just, I don't have like a lot of moments like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't oh, have a, a lot sad, of like. What a sad. Um, <laughs> this thing has turned so I know. fucking sad. Well, we're deep like that. This we are. What... We are, yeah, this doesn't yeah. always have to be like laugh yeah. them up, laugh them mm-hmm. up. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, babe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But before, but but be, you know, before you, I just want to let you know that, um, you know, I love you, man. <laughs> That's so hard for you to say. Huh? I know the way Jesus his hand Christ. was shaking. Yeah, yeah I was shaking just now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to make that a meme. You know? <laughs> so Bobby says, "I love, I love you." Like you know. Yeah, I just want to say, <laughs> not You're quite the, sure. The, it's hard for me to say this. Yeah, the he one, always prefaces all insults with "I love you." Yeah, that's how. That's the only time whoa, whoa, you'll whoa, really let's hear. Let's not it. get your relationship shit in this right now. <laughs> no, I mean even that's just, just how he says, "I love you," and there's always a but yeah, afterwards. Yeah, why is that? I you love know, you, but don't stop breathing. Yeah, but I don't think that you're because you didn't have a necessarily a, a affectionate family, right? I did. did. So your dad was like, I love you, son, and your mom well, I mean, was always hugging you? He was very violent and a drunk. And <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. It's not no, a- but he was also, there were moments where he goes, I love you, and he would kiss me on the cheek. I know your oh. mom was very affectionate. My mom's very affectionate as well, but she was also very violent. Oh, wow. So I got, but we're Korean. I think that's cultural, a lot of it. I don't think so. Yeah. I think that's like a, a convenient excuse cultural people always say. Ethnic people I know. Think. I always go to other Koreans and go, did this happen? And they go, oh, yeah. Like, oh. Also, um, like Jessica's family, they never say I love you to each other ever. She's never heard her parents not once say it to her my in her old, entire life. You know, I, I get my Filipino girlfriend from like you know years ago. She was very much like not used to like affection. Really? Yeah, she wasn't like, That's you know, she was like, my family's not like this, you know, because I'm very affectionate, you know. Her thing, the way to show love was to be like, buy things. Mm-mm, that's you know? very, actually, the opposite of Filipinos, because Filipinos are very verbal and very affectionate and very touchy. That's what I'm saying. So I was, it was just So weird... you're right. It's, it's Sometimes it is. It's not always cultural. Yeah, it's, yeah, just, it's just, you know. Like, whatever whatever sh- happens in your family. Mm-hmm. You still with your girl? Yeah. Wow. What? I swear it's, you it's, it's going been, on 17 I, years. I know, but I'm, I just can't believe it. <laughs> Are you guys living with each other yet? No, 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 I'm not. I would never. You guys are still. <laughs> He's like, Bobby, shut up. Bobby, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> so what out. game? What? Let's switch. No, 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 no. But I, I, I'm closer to it. Uh, but I need to. There's just things that I. Yeah. I don't. You know. It's like. It's, you, I want to buy a house. I want to. I'm always worried about my career. I always think I'm never going to work again. Well, that's. We all feel that yeah. way. So and I'm that's just a like, never ending thing. Yeah. So I have to like. But I need to make sure that I'm like. Make sure that I can. You're going to be fine. Well, I just feel like that. You know. I have to keep. I got to keep. Let's switch up gears. Are you go. you playing any games? Yeah. What? I'm still playing Destiny. <laughs> you don't play. You're not a Red Dead or anything. No, I don't want to play a game that. It's going to be done, and then I never get to play it again. No, I mean, I'm going to say right now, dude, this game end. is not that kind of game. Yes, it is. No, it. I don't. I can't see an ending. It's going to end. I know, but it's beautiful. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to wait. You're I'm not so going to stop. I'm not going to pay ninety nine dollars <laughs> for it. I'll wait. It'll be thirty two dollars in like six months, it's and I'll a play masterpiece. It. And it'll, okay, I'll still play. You want to give so me the disc? Dumb. Did you download it or do you have the disc? I downloaded it like okay, a fucking exactly. civilized human being. I, I, I totally agree with you. Yeah, These yeah. people with DVDs. Uh, I'll, get I'll, fuck out of here. What about this? <laughs> what, if I bought it. Oh, oh yeah, and I sent you as oh, a yeah, gift. Yeah. Put my address down. Yeah. No, I because I buy my brother games. So I'm gonna buy the game on my Xbox. I'll play it. I'll send it to you. Mm-hmm. You'll get it. Yeah, and you will play it. Yeah, but I still play Destiny. It's still a fun game with my brother. Yeah, because that's why Steve. Your brother hits me up. That's why Steve at three won. o'clock in the morning, and he's like, uh, you know, his girl's gone. He's like, yeah, she, she's <laughs> she's in, she's in Carson, wherever she lives. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. And then we just play, and your brother's just like, he still loves it. He's a he, you're he's the I love Steve. Okay, he just. Such an oddity, you know? Yeah. Just the way he deals with things. Yeah. You know? And so I and I appreciate right? it. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, he has a way of dealing with the world that I would love to see how he sees the he's world. He's weird with money, too. Oh, he's weird. <sighs> with money? Everything. Yeah, Bob. So, um, you know, I, I'm paying George and Bryce, but um, do, do you think it's too much? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, 
Yeah, but he'll be like that about <laughs> he'll be like that about the guns on Destiny too, though. Yeah, yeah. He'll be talking about like this a gun, like yeah, hey, this gun's good, bro. Like yeah. I don't know about this gun. Let me see this gun. And so I appreciate like the there's like a was that too much to say? There's a, we have to cut that out. No, no, no. Uh, he, George knows he's overpaid. <laughs> <laughs> He's, yeah, he's weird with guns and stuff, too. He's just weird with it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So we still play that game, and then we got the worst fire. Worst fire team ever. Don't forget about that podcast. God, oh I almost didn't God. say it. They're going to be so <laughs> mad at me. We're, I went on Rogan and didn't mention it, and then that's how that Steve and I thought about that. By the way, oh, oh, really? what did he say? Did he say? How did it go down? Oh, God, how did it go down? He was like, you know, you on the you know biggest podcast. You know, he just Steve just was red zoning on me about yeah, this. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, while we were live you know, wait, streaming, he, wait, Steve is back on Worst Fire Team. Yeah, he, yeah, he he's, came back. You know, he's 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 like our. I don't know. He's like a like a segment, and now we're back with you know. It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Steve, but, but so is that successful? Is that killing it or what? No, dude. But it's like you we just have love nerds. doing it. Yeah. yeah, we love doing it. You know, and you only play Destiny. No, no, no. We're playing C- Call, Call of Duty right now. Oh. We love that. Uh, oh, you yeah. are Blackout. Yeah, we play Blackout. Yeah, we play that a lot. Yeah, and I play basketball on there. Yeah, I'm just know. happy that I don't do that anymore, huh, babe? Do what? Play Destiny with those guys and all that stuff. Oh my God! The reason he doesn't text or you never hear from him is he's so deep into Red Dead or whatever dumb game. So he plays. deep, like he was really deep on Stardew too, that no one can Stardew? penetrate. Stardew, Stardew, Stardew Valley. Valley, Stardew. It was a farming, farming simulation. simulation. <laughs> <laughs> it's the boy. It's a beautiful game. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful game. Yeah. Dude, dude, listen, it's, it's, listen, it's, listen, listen, listen. Let me ask no, you no, something. No, no, I'm like, fuck you. Let me ask you something. <laughs> fuck you, fat man. None. Whoa. Uh, yeah, fuck you, man. Whoa. By the way, Don't I'm, ever... so, I'm so sick of people coming up to me listen, calling I, me Fat I, I, Lando. I, 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 I'm so yeah, sick of that. Fat Lando. That, that got people to come, hey, Fat Lando's yeah, here. I, was, I have to go like this. Yeah. <laughs> Would have punched people in their face. I was super Cloud City. Are you standing up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me see. Still so little. Um. No, no, Bobby. What? I don't care what all these games you're playing. Yeah. You know. You'll know. That none of them, none of these games' experiences are as fun as you, me, and Steve playing Destiny at 5 o'clock in the morning trying to beat Prison of Elders. Try to sit here right now and tell me that you don't miss that, that that wasn't the funnest time you've ever had. (sighs) There is something to it. (laughs) There is something to you, me, and Steve. Yeah, the original running around, running around. Yeah, trying to survive, fighting, try, trying to get this thing. <laughs> and there is a feeling of defeating Quadron. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, the accomplishment that we yeah, felt yeah, together yeah. as a team when going you, to bed at, six at seven the, o'clock in the morning. Six in the morning, you, we beat we Quadron. Did it, you know? We did it. Yeah, there is something times. to that. Yeah. You're there right. No, there was nothing like it. Yeah, but you know what? Uh huh. I can't do it anymore. I can't, I, I understand. You don't gotta look at her. We get it. Yeah, <laughs> I cannot do it anymore. Okay. So um um, yeah. I mean, do maybe when I get a house, you keep saying this, and I and I have a a room on the other side of the. You know what I mean? You keep saying the house this. where it's, she can't hear my yelling. No, I get it. It's it's my pro- my problem no, is I get so us, emotional. I, all of us were emotional. Yeah, I was throw just, controllers because we were doing something. We were. It felt like we were doing something. Like even though it's so silly, it's just a video game. Can I say something though? But by by, by by stepping back from it and not playing it for years, mm-hmm. you're not missing it. No one knows about it. It doesn't. It, it doesn't it's fulfill not, you. It, Bobby, 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 it's yeah. not about the game. I'm saying we don't play anymore. Like it doesn't matter what game we were gonna play. We try you, to get into Star Wars. You were gonna yell. Yeah, yeah. It's still gonna happen. Like we were gonna get there with Star Wars. The problem with Star Wars, it was boring. It's like the same thing over and over again. Yeah. You know, like like those missions. It's like, okay, yeah. are you going to have another mission? But that shit was fun too. But if we would have kept playing that, the same thing would have happened. It's not Destiny. Destiny's not the problem. We are the problem. Okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If we're, when we're playing at a competitive game, like it could have been FIFA. Imagine, it would have been worse if we were playing FIFA. It's still bad when we play FIFA. Yeah. You know? You're so bad but, at but, it. Oh, here oh. we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Who no. usually wins? No, it's, 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 no, For sure. it's not true. No, one hundred percent. No, it's not. It's not. We can yeah, we, we can play now, bitch. What are you talking about? <sighs> I don't you know? have the new one. I'm playing Red Dead. Yeah. See, 
I didn't buy the new FIFA either for the same reason. I was like, ah, I'm not gonna get yeah, it. Yeah, but with that game though specifically, it's just like it's the same game over and over again. It's just it's frustrating to th- they try to they have to change it every year. Which one, get, FIFA? Yeah, I know they can't buy the Why? same game. Just, so they make it more slippery, or they make yeah, it more yeah. difficult to do. Oh, they go, oh, now you can do this. It's like I want, yeah. I want FIFA 13. You can control 13 your toes. Was the best. Yeah, I don't want to control the toes. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. I'm done with that game too. Yeah, yeah. But the reason why we have fun playing sports games is we play. Then we had this win loss thing against each other. We're not working together. Mm-hmm. Right. But then we, after a while, we're like, okay, I'm done. I can't play anymore. But yeah. that's just. Oh, here's another what question. We do. Did you see Hereditary yet? I have not seen it yet, but I want to see it. Because you're into garbage horror movies. No, I'm not. I'm <laughs> yeah, not you into are. garbage what, horror what, movies. You saw the, like... Did you go to the theater to watch The Nun? I did. And that was... <laughs> but that's what my point, though. Is no, that... no, 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 no. Bobby, that trailer for The Nun was the scariest shit I've ever seen in a movie because it was surprising. Th- they got in trouble. They got in trouble oh. because it was so scary. Oh, yeah, like, true. you just, all of a sudden, it's like, no, you know, you think, Dude, oh, horror the movie. hereditary that trailer nun came out scary. Of no, not like this. Did you see the hereditary no, trailer? No, no, Bobby, not Did like this. Did you see the trailer? I saw the trailer. It's not scary like this. That's That trailer was scary, like, you know, suspenseful scary. This shit was like a fucking nun came out of nowhere and you that didn't expect the shit. The shit. Me, yeah. And the whole You put I, a nun in white makeup and that's scary to you? Yeah. They're generally white as it is. No, but this was. <laughs> what First of all, did you see the nun? Yeah, I bought it just now. Uh, it's so garbage. It's the, really bad. Yeah, and I'm telling you that The Hereditary is the scariest movie I've seen it. in a I decade. I just haven't and had you, a... And you haven't seen it yet. No, I haven't had a chance you, uh, to like, watch, watch it. Um, I was going to watch it on Airplane. Hill House. Yeah, Haunting on Hill House. I haven't you see seen that? that one. No. That's pretty it's good. It's a TV show on Netflix. Oh, oh, oh. It's really good. Really? Is it scary? Yeah, it's it really good so moments. good. It's You'd love it. It's just a really good like drama, too. Yeah, Maybe. I'll check it out. You're not going to watch it. I just have so many shows to watch. You know, I can't. I like, we should go watch that one movie because Steve was telling me about it. Suspiria? <laughs> yeah. Dave already, he already went to go see it. He said it was pretty good. Uh, you saw Fuck it. it. Fuck it. Did you see it? No, I haven't seen it yet. Let's go see it. I'll maybe i The last, see, this is another thing too. We <laughs> do, was... when we do things together, the shit is heightened. Okay? Don't you understand that? Like when we watched, remember that one scary movie we watched together where we almost walked out because the shit was scaring the shit out of both of us? What movie, what movie was that? That one with the, there was nuns in that one too. <laughs> And the fucking the girl was like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> what and movie was they that? They were possessed by the devil. I forgot the fucking name of that one. Possessed but was, by the devil. It was. They were like an exorcism <laughs> going on. And oh, Bobby's yeah, yeah. like, I'm putting my shoes on. We got to get out of here. <laughs> shoes on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah this motherfucker gets comfortable at the theater. <laughs> oh, I get really comfortable. What are we doing? Uh, Eric Griffin's always over an hour. Is that where you're at right now? Mm-hmm. Oh shit! Make sure you listen to Riffin with Griffin. <laughs> Go subscribe to me too. You know, you Riffin with Griffin, the, uh, Riffin with Griffin. Yeah. And, I'm gonna have um, Bobby on. I just not not doing a guest yet because I just want to build up some episodes of just me mm-hmm. doing my thing. And I, you will be one of my first guests because people always ask me about it all the time. Yeah, I like doing. I, I have, have good chemistry. I have good chemistry with you. Yeah. I have good chemistry. I'm telling with, you, spuds. I have good chemistry with Santino. Believe it or not. No, I know. I saw you went on his podcast first because he asked me. You fucking fuck. No, whatever. <laughs> um. Everyone fine in the room? Yeah. Yeah, everyone's okay. fine. I would love to talk about Red Dead, but... Um, talk about it. No, but, but, but it's... Well, um, you can send it to me. I'll play it myself, and then we'll see. I'm literally going to buy it tonight and send yeah. it to you. We'll see. You know you're not. Yeah, but I, I really am. And the, here's the thing about Red Dead, though, real quick, is is that the first 45 minutes of the game yeah. is boring as fuck because Ugh. you have to kind of do this tutorial oh, story. Yeah. But a- after you're done and you you're actually... Fallout fell off, at- by the way. 80% down from the last Fallout. Oh, 76? Not doing so hot. Yeah, yeah. It's cause it's a yeah, because it's game. not... It's an MMO now. Yeah. If, if Fallout was what it was, which is what the Red Dead is, which is a single player adventure, it would be the number one game. It would have buried everything. But I don't know what they're fucking trying to do. They're Don't to, change it. Trying to candy crush everything. Everything's about like playing with other people and spending money on outfits. Wow, yeah. That's, that's what, what it is. is. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah, Fortnite and all these shits is free, but people are like, I don't spend a dime. Uh, I never would buy Fortnite. Then they're like, they spent $600 on like, but I got these cool shades that my character, <laughs> yeah. so my character plays, you know, in like, you know, Elvis outfit. That yeah. was like $26. Yeah, you know? like in like, there are some games where it's fine. You don't have to buy anything, but you'll jump higher. If yeah. you spend three dollars, yeah, yeah, oh, really? yeah, but I I can't get up there yeah, then yeah. without three dollars. I'm so sick of the games I play on my phone and iPad. Like I'm oh still playing God. Boom Beach and I'm playing this game called Empire and Puzzles. Oh no, I, can't. I play Wordscapes. It's free. Yeah, it is mine. Free. No, that's not true because sometimes you do. You have the option yes, to buy the puzzle clues. games. Yes. Yeah. Oh, like Cami Two. Have you ever seen that mm-hmm. one? Oh my God. Anyone out there listening that plays Empire and Puzzles? 
it's a little game. But if you are playing, I kind of want to change um, teams. My team, it's oh, called. You're one of these people. Yeah, it's my team. They don't. They don't give me any. They don't know what I do for How a living. How is our Sim City team happen. doing? I still. Oh, my good. city my, is so I, bullshit. I, every good, time I go you, to it, I'm like, I can't stand having to buy meat and fucking. You know. Yeah, I, I got my corn. I haven't, seen my, <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen my city in a year and a half. <laughs> you were on that hardcore. Yes, back you were. In the day. You could you could have bought a real house with the amount of money you spent on that game. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, Empire and Puzzles is worse. Yeah. What? Clinton had to call him and put a stop to put it. Put a stop to it. And I still haven't stopped. Anyway, we have a question? Yeah, we got one question. <laughs> what is it? On Helpful Advice with Bobby, Kalila, and Eric Griffin. Hey, Tiger Belly. I recently got married in Vegas in secret. What just happened? <laughs> I've told I've told about three people, but not my parents. I brought up the idea of marriage to them, but they instantly go in a rant about saying, I'm too young and not ready. My anxiety has been real bad lately, I think, because I'm holding in such a big secret from my family. Or he's too young and not ready. Mm. So my question is, should I tell them about it or wait, uh, wait it out till I fake a proposal and get married at home? Thanks, Hannah. I'm 24. Yeah, you're too young. How long has she been dating the guy? Do we know any other it's, information? It's the, mm. same, it. it's the same thing as it always is. Hannah, you know the answer. Exactly. If you have to what do you ask want me to two a- weirdos. Say to you. Yeah. Like if you know that you you if you know you feel bad because you didn't tell your parents, because you didn't make the a thing out of this, mm. if you know that you feel bad about that, then you know the answer. And I That's think you should the come clean. Answer. Go to your parents and be like, I love this person. I know you don't like him or whatever the mm-hmm. reasons are, and be like, Look, he's in my life. We did this. I feel bad about it. I want you to be a part of it. Let's have a wedding. I want your blessing. And if they say no, you you then you know that they're not on the same page with you, and then just go be with your husband and move on with mm-hmm. your life life mm. we need something a uh, different Here, question that's like the this one? One? hey i was driving on a dirt road mm-hmm. and i was drunk and i <laughs> I, I killed I, a family of seven no i hit a, an immigrant <laughs> a, a, a mexican man who was illegal mm-hmm. and he, he died on the side of the road what do i do what do you do i mean jesus i mean it's pretty <laughs> obvious no well they're not calling us like he's not calling tiger belly on the side of the road, yeah. like did he's dying? What do I do? No, <laughs> they already took off. Yeah, yeah. So now they're saying like, what do I do now? Yeah, what yeah. would you do? Oh man, that's a tough one. I mean, I've already, <laughs> right? I mean, I've already he... gotten away with it. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, I, I'm, like you've already gotten away you with got it. Got away with that's it. That's a hard one, man. Here's what it is. He's here illegal. <laughs> no, that's I'm what. He, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be oh, tough. God. It would be tough if I've because here's you, the thing, though, if I've already gotten away with it yeah, and you, I already made a horrible choice and I'm like, why do I? What, I'm going to compound this horrible choice by now going to jail for the rest of my life. Would you be able? To, I think I would have already done something. Would you be able to live with it? It would be hard. But would you be able to do it? I don't know. It would be. I would. I probably wouldn't say anything. But I think it would be in my head for yeah, the rest would, of my yeah, life. It would eat away. Haunt me. It would eat away. Eat away with you. It'd eat away. Yeah. But dude, I don't want to get butt slammed in fucking prison. Oh yeah, you're gonna be just. I know. You're gonna ripped. be farting like this. <laughs> you in a soccer game? Yeah. He's gonna be like a crystal goblet. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd just be just this gigantic open cavern. Yeah. Walking around, just a come the Millennium Falcons flying in and out. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Be hitting like phasers a- on your colon, like I think this yeah. is a lie. Yeah. <laughs> I fart. Bat- Batman and Robin f- fly out. <laughs> yeah, it would be just a, a lot about uh, your butthole today. But you know what, dude? It's What's like, better? Do you have a second? No, but one? I want to. I, I want to. Let's one. play this scenario about me being in prison, getting fucked in the ass. Okay. Okay. Um, fantasy, not a scenario. Fantasy. A fantasy. First um, of all, you'd be too needy and clingy, and then like after one guy had you as a as a little bitch for like but uh, after six barter. months. No, then it would just be like people would be like, ah, stay away from him. He's a weirdo. It wouldn't last long. No, like, no, I would be somebody's. You know, or I would go. Hey, can I get a pack of cigarettes at least? Like you would barter, right? No. How good do you think your booty is? Listen to this oh. guy. <laughs> In prison? He, he think he got up this. top of the line. <laughs> In prison, my little you yellow think, cheeks. You, you think people gonna be lining up on your cell? Like, can I, can I just say I something? gotta go get that ass. Have you had that Asian ass over there? <laughs> Not only that, Have but you, you don't even know what Asian I would booty? do. What I would do is during lunch, like yeah. if we got a li- little stick of butter, I would stick some butter. Oh, where I put in my pocket, and I would just put them all over my butt cheeks to make it look shiny. Oh, Ooh. but bent over, <laughs> you probably look like a girl anyway. So, <laughs> any, give me another, any other questions or no? Hello, Urban Bobby. There we, having, yeah, what's up? I'm having trouble with race. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And shadow play. Urban Bobby? Is yeah, this a thing? Yeah, yeah, it is. 
Give him a little oh, bit. I'm doing, less sad. I'm doing Asian Eric on that. <laughs> yeah, do it. Do Asian Eric. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Most of my friends are not the same race as me. It's uh-huh. been this way my entire life, and I really don't mind it because my friends are generally awesome people. However, they believe something about me that is completely untrue. When I met most of my friends in college, they made the same assumption many people do, that I'm white, I have freckles, and lightish curly hair, and my skin is very fair. Uh-huh. But I'm not white at all. I'm black. Race doesn't mean much to me, and it's not like I would ever introduce myself as a black person. Plus, friendship is also about liking who, other, who the other person is, not what they look like. I know I should distance myself from them or at least tell them to stop or even tell them that my race is the only problem is is that one of my older friends has been introducing to me as uh, to so many people in my field and even arranged for me to get an amazing salary job in Chicago after graduation. Should I tell my friends that I'm black now? Wait, or- are they are they saying things around her that are racist? Yeah. Is that what you're Oh, saying? yeah, yeah, sorry, Miss. They they um they started making awful comments about black people in front of me. Oh. Okay. Well, that's I, interesting. Should oh. I tell my friends that I'm black now or wait until after I get my job to really put my foot down? <laughs> Thanks for your help. A troubled. Oh, so the so racist you, yeah. friend is offering her a job. Her the job. Yeah, job yeah. It's like in CNN. What's that? Uh, it was it Burnett. Which one's the one that's black that you can't tell? Aaron Burnett. Aaron Burnett's black, right? Is she? She yeah. could be. I have to see a picture. Yeah, I want to look up Aaron. Is Aaron well, Burnett? I gotta look I, it up. Can I yes. jump in on this? Yeah, one? jump in, jump in, jump in. <laughs> um, you know, it's funny because like even on I'm dying up here, like the character was dealing with something sort of similar in the sense that like if you're like if you're a person of color and you hang around with a like all white people, you know, there's a certain familiarity you have. Mm-hmm. Like, did, did these people also have with you that they think? And this has happened to me, and even in my life because I was like upper middle class type of thing. You know, I went to like Brentwood when I was a little kid. You know, so I was always around white people. And I'm mm. fair skinned, so you. But you know, it's just kind of feeling that people think that they're comfortable with, with you, and then and, until something happens, and all of a sudden you become whatever race you are. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> all of a sudden, I oh yeah, that's because you know. So this is a weird thing. It's like this person is trying to come across people that say like, I don't think about race. Yes, you do. Yeah. Mm. Like you, that's you thinking about race. This whole question is about because you're thinking about race. Yeah. So I think that person should just own who they are with their friends. Yeah. Like the fact that they don't know shows me that you have a big problem with race. Like just, but just because you were able to assimilate into the your or with your friends and enjoy that, mm-hmm. you know, it's like you, you, you sometimes not everybody gets that luxury. Mm. You know. It's like somebody who's like in the closet gay or somebody that's like, hello, you know, they don't yeah. get to, they don't get to like be like, act like nothing's going on. Mm-hmm. So that's what this person's doing. So they should have come out from the jump and been like, and if you hear that, you go, whoa, 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 you know, I'm actually this. And that predict people are going to be like, oh, I didn't know. You should have pumped the brakes right Pump, when they exactly. said something with a first racist comment. Yeah. It's like, or, but so you get comfortable. It's nice. It's, it's a, it's a nice feeling to act like you don't care about it. It's, it's, but we're clannish. We're clickish if it's not race it's going to be something it's going to be Tribe social e- we're tribal economics whatever it is you know short people are going to congregate together tall people fat people whatever it might be you your your group never seems to feel good enough and so you mm. like search for a different group or you stay within your group and you just feel comfortable it's not necessarily wrong with it but it's like also you have shitty friends for make who who make fucking Racist comments. comments. Yeah, but here's the thing, though. Like as a comic, I know how that. If if if, if everybody heard every conversation that Bobby and I have in mm-hmm. private, they would think that we're terrible people. But you're also talking you know? amongst each other. Well, I that's mean, what. Th- each- well, that's what these people. No, were but doing. they were talking about other people. They're talking about that's black people in general. <laughs> it's not Aaron Burnett. It's not Aaron Burnett. I looked it up. She's it's, a white woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Soledad O'Brien. Oh, but Soledad O'Brien does look black. She, to me, I never thought she was. Let me see. Her. Oh, yeah, she's black. She's a, but yeah, she does, babe. What are you talking about? My mom looks like that. <laughs> yeah, but if if you if she but if you she was hanging out with you, you wouldn't it, would you in your head go she's black? Yes, I would. I would have a. I would know she's not. You know, there's another she's one that's even bread. more. There's even there's another one that's even she's more not white. Yeah. Anyway, she, she got I'm wrong then. No, but there's what I'm saying is this person has enjoyed the freedoms of like going in and in and out of the two worlds and. You would like to feel like it doesn't matter, but it matters. Mm. And also, if they're your friends, like they've you've never spoken about your parents, they've never seen pictures of you growing up. Yeah, like, what are you ashamed to be like? like you, yeah, who's got the? Re- is my thing is who's got the real problem? At least your friends are not letting you know how they. You know, this is I, they joke about who these they things. They are, yeah. Ah, but it doesn't mean that her friends are racist. It's just that when you feel like you're amongst people you're comfortable with, you might say some things that are inappropriate. But what I'm saying is, when those things get out, it is on you to apologize. 
Mm. It doesn't, doesn't have to. You don't have to attack a person's character to be like, oh, you're the worst person in the world because you said this about these people. Mm-hmm. No, you just said something out of pocket. Someone heard it. You should apologize. Mm-hmm. You know, and she, this person, didn't give her friends the opportunity to be like, oh, my bad. And now you're sitting here feeling these feelings about your friends when that's on you. Boom. Eric, mic drop. It's great. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you for coming. He's over there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you can't have a real conversation with this guy unless we're on air. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for coming. What are you I doing tonight? It. Are you going to the store? Yeah, I'm going to be at the store tonight. What time? Um, you know, usual like bullshit times. So yeah. You know, whatever it is, 10 or whatever it is. You know, thanks for you. You also... Um, Helped us out because we we needed a, a really good guest in an emergency situation. Yeah, also, no one dropped out. This no was supposed out. to be a solo episode, but oh. we thought that we would we, we would we have would one. rather have because this, this doesn't come out until next week. Oh yeah, yeah. but um, I've uh, read the comments. People are like, oh, them again? No, <laughs> no. You're, how many times no, have you done it you now? Are, this is third time. Your third time. Everyone now. asks for you. Yeah, back. you're, you're <laughs> a regular. You'll always come here. No, I got it. Got we love. I love coming here. I love it. Like I say, I'm gonna get. Once I start doing my guests, I want you to come on with me. And then we'll uh, figure it out. I'm just growing right now. It's a slow build. I'm just talking about different things. And it's like, you know, I feel like in this day and age, you have to have an Instagram, a a Twitter, and a podcast to be a successful comic Mm. now. So it's just part of the business. (laughs) But but our generation, though, we were able to grasp it quickly. Like, you know, guys like Argus Hamilton or that generation of people. They can't. They're just. It's too late for them. They can't have an Instagram. I know, but even but see, that's funny you say that because even our generation of people who are like you know forties and stuff, they're having a trouble understanding that entertainment has evolved to like where anybody you know you can have anybody who's an Instagram star, YouTube star. They have value. There's value in that, and then they're also coming into comedy clubs and doing that stuff too. Like this podcast is reaching more people. You have a bigger reach. So the fact that there's people, like I say, to bring a full circle that are coming to my show because they're like, oh, man, I love you on Tiger Belly. That means we've connected. They've heard me on here. We talk about certain things. And now they're like, oh, I want to hear what this, this person make me laugh. Anyway, um, you know? thanks for having <laughs> coming wow. by. He's a shit, huh? Thanks for coming by. We love it. Eric, what are your hands? You're one of our favorites. Oh, I want to punch you in your Any face road sometimes. Dates? Road Any dates? road dates? No, I'm in town for a little while. Any? What's the next road date? I don't even know. It's probably like Boston. Uh, in thank you for coming. <laughs> and one more time. Where can we find Riffin with Griffin? Uh, thank on YouTube. you. YouTube. Eric Griffin comedy. Just go to my website, EricGriffin.com. Yeah, website, I got all the links there. Terrible. 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 This says more about you, Kyla. Like, how can you put up with this? I, for so she's long? on her last nerve. I don't put up. <laughs> she's on her last. Nerve. Oh, I, I know, know she, she sits around it. sometimes. Like, is this worth it? Yeah. You know what I mean? She struggles with it. Yeah, but something struggling. in her head goes. I know because your dick is it. so little. Stay. Like, what's the upside here? There really isn't one. <laughs> she'll realize that. I don't 10 know years what the upside is. is. She'll realize yeah, it. Yeah, um, the other options are really not much better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. Are you living in a closet or something? Yeah, yeah. No. Does I Bobby just, let you go outside? <laughs> it, let's suppose I go out and I meet people, and I do yeah. all the time when I do go out, and let's say men hit on me, they're just such fucking duds and uninteresting and not funny. And yeah, even they're even though they're attractive, they just don't tickle more me. Attra- the same wait, wait, way. more attractive than Bobby? Do we do? Here's the thing. By the standard. <laughs> I, excuse me, excuse me. We're talking. So. <laughs> So you see a guy and you're like, wow, this guy's tall and broad mm-hmm, shoulders mm-hmm. and he could probably like rock example, my world. For example, and when I went to Vegas with my um, family, there was a guy, he was a lawyer for the 49ers. Oh, a lawyer. Oh, God. And he, was, he, he went to he was Harvard. Hunk. Fuck it. Black guy with green eyes. Just the most oh, amazing yeah. looking guy. I got you. I got you. <laughs> he, no matter what he said or did uh-huh. to try to woo me, right? He just didn't make me feel the way Bobby did when I first met him. So you didn't feel creepy and uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for the other you things. You didn't feel you like know? you were like, I need to call the police. <laughs> I feel, and I remember coming. I feel home. sweaty and nervous. <laughs> like the other day, we what were. What are all the feelings we that Bobby watching, makes you feel? Kalila I just and know. I were watching The Voice. A couple weeks ago. This yeah. is the voice. And we, la- <laughs> and we laughed so hard, right? Yeah, you're crying. Crying because I made a joke about a contestant, he right? He said, what did you say? No, yeah, well, wait, it was a guy that was on the show who we were like, is that a guy or a girl? 
right? I hate that. No, yeah, I hate that too. Oh, because you want to know. And I said to her, you know where, where you know where you can find his penis? She goes, where? Inside his pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and for an hour, for an hour, we, we laughed. laughed. Like, that made sense. We Not couldn't bad. breathe we, for breathe. a whole hour. Yeah, and it was the dumbest joke. But he looked like a guy that his dick I, would be inside guys, his pussy. Guys, I just want to say, and this is like, uh, now here's a, com- I finally have a compliment for you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You are like literally one of the funniest people I've ever met. Like for real. Like you go on stage and I'm sitting in the back like I'm not going to laugh at this fucking set again. Right? Yeah. I could do your set. Okay? I know you better. I'm mouthing it in the back, but I'm still <laughs> laughing and I'm mad at myself. Yeah. <laughs> and it's because of how funny you are. So this like- is it right here. You are so funny that better looking more attractive, successful men, probably bigger dicks, probably, you know, just better looking, their eyes are green. None of that compares to how funny, how you make her feel with your, la- with, with how you make her laugh. I mean, that is saying a lot right there. Okay, wow. <laughs> That's a friend right there. Yeah, man, I, I gotta give it to you. <laughs> That's it. Thank We're you done. guys. Thanks again to our sponsors, Robinhood, Ridge Wallet, Brooklyn. And for your free stock, go to tiger.robinhood.com for ten percent off your Slim Slick wallet. Go to ridgewallet.com and use the code Belly for twenty percent. Bobby's naked for twenty percent of your best sheets you'll sleep on. Go to brooklyn.com and use the promo code Tiger Belly. Me too. And if you haven't given us five stars on iTunes yet, please do that. And also go to our Patreon.com Tiger Belly to get some extra bonus content. We're almost at a thousand members. Help us get there. And if you want to send us any packages, you can do that at sixteen two six North Wilcox Avenue, uh, number one six one Hollywood, California nine zero zero two eight. Have a good night.